Hello and welcome everyone, I'm out here with part 4 of the Bloody Hands Let's Play of Total Warhammer with the Steel Faith Overhaul mod and many other little additions including the Grand Campaign custom map mod which I've now added the new river pack for and for this episode I have added the uh, dancing orc mod so it makes all orcs or at least all savage orcs I think dance like Wurzag. We'll take a look at that, I'm sure we'll have a battle this episode uh, where we can show that off. And let me know in the comment section if you'd like me to keep that dancing mod or just get rid of it after this one uh, if the novelty's worn off. Uh, also, final reminder, if you would like the next episode, part 5, which will be out on Wednesday to be an early hour special rather than just its regular sort of 30-40 minute part, then we need to hit 2,000 likes on parts 1, 2, 3, and 4. So you know what to do. Uh, feel free to hit that like button if you would like that early hour special at part 5. If not, there'll be an hour special at part 10 anyway, and every 10 episodes from that. And of course, if you don't want to do that anyway, that's totally fine. Feel free to dislike if you're not enjoying the content. Anyway, oh, and final reminder as well. Custom uh, unit names and hero names, leave them on the QT. That is the place I will be checking for them. It's very easy to filter all the comments through that way because you can tag your comment to a specific unit or hero um, or, or rather troop type and it makes the whole naming process much easier. Anyway, we are going to auto resolve this battle um, because the majority of you said in the comment section or thumbed up various comments that were like, yeah, auto resolve it because it's, it's a minor settlement. It's not a, a major one. Let's, let's see it away, Lionheart. I know we do want to see that uh, that dancing mod, so hopefully we'll get another battle this episode. I'm sure we will. Uh, I am going to loot... Oh, loot and occupy... I'm mm. going to get bad pop... I'm going to occupy. I'm going to occupy. Potion of toughness. That's quite useful. So, yeah, that's that's okay because we'll only conquest um, minus 10 for next turn. So, that's all good. So... A gruel migdal. Uh, we could put the boss's tent in for beans. We've just built one here obedience that's all good okay let's throw that in there building is already being constructed uh we'll give me benefits we'll give me more garrison which is what i want so shh Trish now right so we're gonna let them replenish for a turn then we'll start jumping on over to gorgazan uh my war army is going after the top knots over here finish them off um, and then, yeah, they've just got their final settlement down here, so we'll have dealt with the top knots pretty soon, which is good. Also, you guys are saying, Lionheart, take a look at your chapter objective and see which many, what bonuses you can get. Um, because, yeah, obviously they're pretty useful to get. Um, get to gets in order is our main one that we've got to get right now. Three of six, we need to occupy loot sacks, so that'll be four. And then we'll probably start going after the border princes, sacking and raising them before we then turn on the red fangs. Um, mob up, we've got to have 30 units in total, we've got 20 at the moment, so it'd be raising another army. And we recruit a Night Goblin Shaman. Okay, that might be doable. Uh, Little Sack, four different settlements. Okay, uh, well, maybe if we keep going after the Border Princes, that might be achievable. Uh, could be eight of the following. Eight, eight missions. More missions. Okay, uh, what's the final one? Complete a quest chain. Okay, well, we just got a quest chain for the Baleful Mask. Use a hero, yep, so gotta perform on a settlement, but Sly just um, failed at that, <laughs> which didn't go well. Oh, you guys are saying as well I should have gone for my, um, I should have gone for the, for the Goblin Workshop uh, rather than the Wolf Den, I think it was. Um, That makes you, actually makes me want to rethink these a little bit. I want them all to have walls, which is annoying. Stone Mine Tower. That's only to get the Arachnorok. Only to get the Arachnorok. I, if I'm not going to bother with any of the other units, I don't think that's worthwhile getting just yet. We'll get the Arachnorok in another region or from another territory. Um... In fact, we only need one, like, goblin tinker bench, really, unless we want to build Proclaws. Doom Divers are, I think, more worthwhile, we can get them at that tier of building, and that just has one, yeah, straight up, rather than having to go through three tiers. Okay, so let's get rid of the wolf stand, and we'll build the tinker bench instead. That's my plan there. So, the bit of stone mine. Yeah, going for the defense. Let's throw that in. That's that all sorted. Grunt just holding in there. 
I think that's all we can do for now. So let's... We're dependable again. Talk. So... Our confederation... Won't have any repercussions there. Um, Don't mess with me! What's your message? Scabby Eye, I'm not going to make any promises against you. You guys are already... Oh, uh, no. Border Princes, sorry. Damn, so if I go to the Border Prince, we'll, we'll, Barak Var, they're not at war with anyone else. It's, oh, no, hang on. We're already at war. Sorry. <laughs> Derp. Yeah, we're already at war. That's fine. Didn't want to bring any more enemies in. Um, quick to mutinous gets. Correct. This is all. Yeah, we kind of want the Red Fangs to folk. Well, they're not at war with us all yet. We kind of want them to go after them because that weaken the dwarves up and then I can just swoop in from behind. But yes, let's end the turn. Get going with some progress. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, and they're attacking me at Bitterstone Mine. Really? With... Oh, I don't have walls yet, of course. I was like... Ah. Okay, so we are going to have to fight this one. Well, we'll get to see the dancing dancing orcs. We, we should be able to wreck them here. They just have war, war bosses and I don't. Okay, their reinforcements are coming in from over here. Uh, this is just... Yeah, the mining... The mining pits, I guess. Entrance to it all. Fair enough. Yeah, right down there. Lots of mining. Okay, so... Train's quite, yeah, split up. Put my cavalry over here. Oh yeah, we should check the if they're dancing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> here's what the mod's about. Do you want them always dancing like this? The savage orcs like Wurzag. The archers don't. They are still like getting themselves pumped up, but the they're savage orc biggins. What about orc boys? No, they don't. Okay, so it's just Savage Orcs that dance like Wurzag now. So, should we keep the mod or not? Let me know down in the comment section for the dancing Savage Orcs. <laughs> oh, lol. Anyway. Savage Orcs. Biggin Savage Orcs. What are they? Savage Orc Biggins? Yeah, that's the one. Right, start. Gonna leave this unit defending. There we go. So it's just dancing when they're stationary. I don't think that that causes too much harm, do you? Come on, cavalry. Send the trolls into this clump. Along with some infantry to help out. Okay, 
In come the trolls! That was very well timed, actually. Trolls are wrecking things. Can't pull back. About to be some general if I'm not careful. Go on, trolls. Tear them down, trolls. Yeah, Lord's me down, mash. Oh, but what? Seriously? Oh, the other one did. Okay. Against the Lord. Finish off MASH if you can. Get them trolls. How much health you got left? Trees, he's relatively protected. And blood get rock gut. Actually, I don't need to bother chasing them because my wah should jump on. Should John jump on them any moment anyway? Good. Now, the Dancing Savage Orcs. They're here um, uh, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. <laughs> Great victory. That's fine. Um, yeah, we might as well ransom Savage Orc Prodder. That's it. Go right. Oh, no. He, he under... Oh, no. My, my war didn't get him. Because he underweighed to them, but he'll finish them off now. Okay, so we got rid of the wolf den, a dragon horn mine. So it is that that we want. Stone mine tower. I want to pop in that. A defense for you as well. Because they're raiding me. No extorted income. Characters. Okay. And I can't complete my quest until we get a successful action with Sly or another Gobbo. We can't get... It was a Goblin Knight Shaman, wasn't it? Where do we get them from? Where, oh, where do we get you from? Uh, we get you from the Shaman's Hut, of course. Uh, which we were going to pop over in Wurzag's Encampment and the Troll Cave. Troll cave and that, because everything else can be built in other places, so that's fine. Cool, cool. So yeah, if we build the Shaman's Hut in Ekron, once we've leveled that up, we need more surplus, so we'll do that soon. 
Uh, Garaz, they are not going to like... There's going to be a rebellion, actually, that I'm going to be moving. But I'm just going to... Horse march, because I can get there further. We'll take out Gorgazan, and the top knots will be dead. In fact, that's kind of my objective for the episode, I think. So, yeah, they're going to reform at Galboraz, but that's okay. And uh, Stonemine Tower. What can you have? Oh, yeah, you can have something built, but not the right thing built. Save the money in the turn. Mawa took out Mash, I think. Battle of Bitstone Mine. And Chaos Stirs. Tight Lost and Von Karsteins against Green Scenes. Okay. Go finish him off. Oh, hello, Border Princes. You're going to take me at Stone Mine Tower. I will not obey. But if this army jumps to close by, they'll be be close. Okay, I'm going I'm to go ahead and start building that up. Probably should go for another army soon. Rebellions everywhere. There we go. Just going to take that settlement out. We might even just order resolve it. Because again, it's quite a small settlement. And in the turn. Okay, force march around there. See if the water prints do anything. And they're taking me at Stone Mine Tower. Um, oh, nice Empire Knights. I, I, mm. B -b 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 -b. I'm. I think I'm going to try and fight this one just to see if we can kill a few more of them in the Order Resolve because the Order Resolve looks like it's going to be a full-on whitewash. Right, uh, and their deployment's down over there, isn't it? Yes. Um, so this map stayed the same, but yeah, if I'm on a on a river crossing, there should be a new series of maps now that cover the river crossings, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and funnel them into this gap here, and then uh, just kind of charge them. Just the charge alone will will kill a few more of their troops. Gobbos. Keep them at the sides. And I mean, trolls. Trolls could be pretty useful, so we'll keep them central. Fast forward, they're attacking me, so they have to come to me. I get chill and sit. Maybe move these guys over here to prevent any flanking maneuver by the Empire Knights. Yes, yeah, so they're just coming up that ridge. It's all this forest that they'll now hide in as they advance. I forgot that Empire Knights were a thing. I never really used them. For Reichsguard. What did I use them? I don't know. The Empire series was, seems so long ago now. <laughs> it was over over a year ago, in fact, that it was going on. Oh, of course, they've got the mortars, so yeah, I do need my, my cavalry. Got a hammer. Do you like getting their free company militia early on now as well? Mortars, yeah, I need to try and take those mortars out if I can. I'm hoping these guys stay hidden. But I am gonna just pop them around here because I know where those mortars are roughly going. But let's just pop you down here because I think the more yeah, the mortars can see you. Right, now I'm hidden. So, I'm going to pop you guys along here. 
Okay, what I'm going to do is use the goblins, hopefully, as a target for the mortars. Because their army's going to advance. I imagine it's not going to be too long. They get there. In fact, let's just let's just enjoy some savage orc dancing. Quick little pan down the line. They're like having a good time. Psych themselves up for battle. They dance better than I do. Ow! Right in the general. Ah, uh, run away, gobos. Now, what I'm really hoping is that they've totally not supported those mortars with any cavalry. Even if I can just only take out the mortars, I'll consider that a victory. I don't want to fight them. I want to draw them out. Come on, come to me. Go, gobos, go! They brought their cavalry there. They had another unit, though, I think. But I'm going to use this moment to go after them. That's it. Let's go after the knights if you can. There we go. There we go. Take out those mortars for me. We don't want to go into the halberds. Not with the trolls, anyway. Ah, damn, they've seen me with their cavalry. That's it. Flank on round, flank on round, flank on round. And in we go. In you go, trolls. Charge off there with the shock cavalry. Come on, trolls. There, keep vomiting on them. Break soon. Cavalry charging in against me. Trolls. Oh, it's broken, sadly. 
It's the last few. Well, we lost 500, so that's all right. That's all right. Close defeat. Took out one of the mortars. Okay. Oh, they've just moved on. Okay. Ah, oh, they've got another army coming over. Imminent rebellion. Grey herds come as well. Recruiting surplus. Recruitment costs. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll definitely avoid you, war herds, if we can. And while go after the border princes now, leave the top knots, they're dying. Stonemine Tower has been sacked. Uh, so I probably won't even bother. Because they've got another army coming over. We need to consolidate our lands and move up from there. Um, I think they just automatically dealt with the rebellion. Principle instability. That's 15, damn. Oh no, it's just gone up to that. We've still got minus 15. Is that because of all these guys doing stuff? Oh, damn it. Yeah, you jump on them. Probably will need to get uh, another army. I can barely afford the one I've got. Definitely Great Orc Shaman. Orc Great Shaman, rather. Maimed arm. Definitely want to do a Savage Orc War Boss. Steel hips. <laughs> Gluttonous. Income from raiding. That's quite nice. Yeah, I um, will increase the upkeep though, but we will probably need just another little force to help help out around the place. We can throw some regiments of renown in there, but I don't particularly want them. Um, so what can you get, Savage or War Boss? You can get a Wyvern. Okay, that's cool. You get the War Boar. I didn't say at any levels, so that just allow me to go straight through it. And Oh, it has a passive as well. That's cool. Let me get the Wyvern straight away. That's pretty powerful, surely. You could buff up the Savage Orcs as well, so yeah, we'll go for Savage Orcs. I know all boys are slightly cheaper, but embrace the Savage way of life, I think. There we go. Get those guys, then we can knock back the Border Prince a bit. It's going to hurt the old income. But we are about to take another settlement. Which, yeah, we can just all resolve this one. No battles with Wurzag today. Could subjugate, but no. I think we've got... Uh, rebellion coming anyway, so I am going to loot and occupy. If you say so. Yeah. That's fine. Um, Camp Ruckus. What do I want to go for down here? Hmm. Growth, casualty replenishments. They can all go in tier 3 ones, so they can all go into these. Um, let's just get some shiny stuff for now, because I'm not planning on this being a unit production hub as such. But we'll see. And with Wurzag, you guys saying get Spleen Ripper, but I think if we're going to have them all dancing, we definitely want him not on a mount just yet. Obviously, we can still go for that later. Um, Squiggly Beast. Brain Burster. Might go for Brain Burster. Got Foot of Gork, so I, I do want to try that out. Earthing Winds of Magic Preserve. We've got to get eight seal points across the final group. Okay. Ed Butt. Breath Attack. I'll go for Brain Burster. It's 
strong versus units. Some of you were saying like, oh, you didn't think that those were that powerful, but then I don't know if you guys are talking about them not being that powerful in Steel Faith or in the base game, because Steel Faith has overhauled a lot of... Um, a lot of the spells and made them more powerful and what have you. So yeah, we'll go for Brain Burst for now. And yeah, let me just check that Bray Herd. Dragon Horn Tribe. They're not at war with us yet. So I'll we'll have to find out what happens. So yeah, we need to bring Wurzag back up pretty pronto. Red Fangs aren't at war with us yet, and let's keep it that way just now. I could go for non aggression with them, but I'm not going to. I'm hoping that they'll just keep busy with what else they've got going on. Don't think that could. Might have to send Grimgore like a. a gift or something to make him like me more. No, we'll just go through that. Uh, one or two of you were saying as well that you thought that you would. I'd be able to get Azag even if he hadn't spawned onto the map. I'd just be able to recruit him. I'm not sure that's how it works, but if anyone can clarify, I always thought the, the Legendary Lord had to be on the map when you confederated in order to get them. Um. But then actually, I remember with uh, Musion, the Red Duke was wounded and I still managed to get him. I think he has to be maybe brought onto the field once and then you can still recruit them. Teeth Heat. Corruption plus four provinces. Yeah, I'm going to actually grant the request. Normally, I, in the past, I've gone for Safeguard. But it lasts for three turns. It's plus four. I'm going to grant the request. Let's get that extra money. We can't really afford any extra income just yet. There's the Rebellion. There's Rebellion number two. Up there. We can allow this one to build up a little bit before we go after it. I want to go over and just raid the Border Princes a lot. My Wah is trying to go after the Border Princes. I don't know where their army is actually. It was there, and then it's zipped off somewhere. It's not in my territory. They're just at war with me for now. We finished our... Um... I'll research ammunition. Let's just go through because we want to get to, I guess, the good bits. Goblin Doom Divers and all that. Bit of stone mine, yeah, let's upgrade you. I'm surprised I didn't go and take out this, so I will repair it. But I'm not going to build up any more. Um, I could just go for those guys now, but we won't. We'll send my WA to finish off the top knots because then they're gone. That's kind of what we want right now. And that's what we can do. So let's end the turn again. Try. I'd like to end this episode with the top knots being destroyed. But if they keep running away, then we may not be able to do that. Oh, there's where that other Border Prince army went. Okay, it's fleeing back. So that's, that's fine for now. Ah, they're just going to run away from me. But they will eventually just crumble into dust. Sly is back. Mork or Gork. Um, we'll go... Yeah, it does the same thing, so Gork. <laughs> War declared. Oh, target's lost on my war, so it will come back to me now. Unless we sent it over there, but I imagine Matork has got a nice garrison, yep. We need to wait for them to come back. Bring it back to help deal with this army. These guys are just going to chill here for a little bit. I can't really afford to build you up any further. Gronti Mingle is going to be attacked by the Border Princes next, but we do have Wurzag in the area, so we can at least send him after them. So we'll send him after this army shortly. So let's do one more end turn, and then we're going to wrap up this episode for now. That's it, while I'll run back. Hopefully, Top Knot's army will just get wiped out during the end turn phase. And I'm getting attacked here by the Border Princes. Um, again, what do we reckon? Do we think we can hold them off and do a little bit more damage? Or should we just leave it? It is an open field battle, actually. Why is it an open field battle? Well, not like a Gronty Mingle map. I'm pretty sure the Gronty Mingle map was like a circular one. Hmm. Maybe it's like not working now. Who knows? Anyway, that's where we're going to wrap things up. So again, I guess if you'd like me to show this battle at the start of part five, then let me know down in the comment section if you'd rather me just auto resolve it or fight it and then just show you the result screen. Let me know down in the comment section. And of course, early hour special at part five, we can hit 2,000 likes on parts one, two, three, and four. Up to you guys though, totally optional. And if you're obviously not enjoying the content, feel free to leave a dislike. 
Unit name suggestions down on the QT link in the description, and all the mods that I'm using are there as well. Until the next one, though, I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors: Green Man Gaming, Overclockers UK, and MSI. Till the next one. Ciao for now.